Today we do a Make Bistro Kuoking versus New York Times version. That's Make Bistro. That's New York Times. Now, just a disclaimer before we go into this. This is also just another version of Kua Kling, so it's okay, you know. But I just want to show you a little bit more how it would probably be made in Thailand. We're going to add some bonuses here because Jacob brought us some fresh green peppercorns. That's right, these are young peppercorns before they turn black. And a hand pounded curry paste, a little lime leaves, and some lemon grass. And of course, some pork and a helicopter that wants this Thai food, but is not gonna get it. Now, for me, it's important not to use too much fat because the pork is gonna render out fat, and I also like this really, really dry. You will sometimes find it more caked, but I like to leave that for a more of like a pot pet kind of style. And um, kua means to like dry toast something. <coughs> To where you're almost copying, so not a lot of fat in the pan. We're um, cooking the curry paste out so we can really smell it, and getting it really dry and moistening as needed. The moistening is, is, is deglazing the pan for us, so we're picking up the flavor, you see. Finally, showers. It's a shower. This is the gold right here. Not from a brine. When you eat it from a brine, it's a really, it's really a different thing. I know some people say it's okay to substitute, and it's not always. Just a small little bite. The thing with the green peppercorns is like, I'm just eating branches of life right now. full-on intense bistro bites. And I was just thinking as I was looking over at my little humble garden, just basically a few pots of stuff here, nothing big, um, that you have fresh chili. In my cool cling paste, I do fresh chilies and I do dry chilies and I have some chilies here and I might as well just put another little fresh layer on top. Just another. Perhaps just another little bite. Um, so what I'll do here is I'll just take a little bite. And these are intensely fragrant. And then maybe another bite. And those chilies, they're like really fruity, so they just added a whole new note. My mouth's on fire, but I'm quite enjoying the experience. 